I had a shirt that said LGBT Pride, and I noticed some people following me, and then they started saying like derogatory slurs, they threw a brick and and I did have to run away. Does your country allow same-sex marriage, and how do you people think about it? I felt that Taiwan is very LGBT friendly. Um, my country does allow same-sex marriage, but that doesn't mean the people actually accept it. Um, I think that there's a lot of violence against LGBT people, but I definitely think it's a lot more accepted these days than it was in the past. Currently, uh, they don't allow it, so it's, it's not, uh, not possible. But I think probably most people uh, support it. America? Mm. I, think, I think it's legal there. They're pretty accepting, but in America it's like there's some people that are really, really, really accepting and they have the gay flags everywhere. And then there's some people that just hate you and want to kill you. There's no in between, no in the middle. Most of the native British population accepts uh, same-sex marriage. This is changing a little bit as uh, many of them are from the Middle East and South Asia and they'll be more opposed to same-sex marriage for religious reasons. Yes, I love it. I think most people, like a majority, is fine. I live in Barcelona and Bangkok. Um, I would say very open. People are totally fine as long as you are good people. It doesn't matter um, what is your sexual orientation. It's very normalized in Canada. Like, it's not like a huge thing. Like, people, it's a part of people's lives and it's not like a super big deal. What do you think about the LGBTQ people? I They're just people. Indifferent. Like, like I don't yeah. think, I don't see them differently. I think it's becoming more of the norm. Like, you used to just notice it and now it's just like, just some other people. I'm in favor of it, I support same-sex marriage. I think it should be legalized. I don't care, like, uh, live your life, live your sexual life, and be happy. And I'm sorry if somebody bothers you. Aww. <laughs> 大家都有權利享受自己的權利嘛,就是找尋自己的真愛很好。當然還是有不平等的部分啊,可能例如有小朋友之類的吧,但是這是慢慢一一要被克服的。So this identify do you uh, meet any difficult place in your life? Um, yes, I have struggled a little. I think one incident that stood out to me was in South Africa and I had a shirt that said LGBT Pride. I was walking in a park with my dog and I noticed some people following me and then they started saying like derogatory slurs for LGBT individuals. Like they did try to attack me and I did have to run away and I actually got they threw a brick and hit me on the head with a brick. I got away safe because I'm very fast, I run very quickly and everything was fine. <laughs> I've had like a teacher like grade me lower. What? I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was correct, but she gave me a C for the test just because I'm gay. How will you feel if your child came out as LGBTQ plus in the future? That's totally groovy. Whatever. Follow your heart. Just like be like, hey, I might think like this. Alright, cool. Let's go watch a baseball game. Whatever, it's fine. So I would say don't jump into conclusion. Like try to understand first and see who you are. Then it's fine, whatever, whoever, you can do anything. And, and it's important that you're happy. I think I'm just worried then about their well-being, like trying to protect them of the sometimes cruel world. Mm, yeah. yeah. Since we're anyway, like, live here and there, kind of. Mm then we would probably choose a place where they, you know, can be open and not, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. I'm glad you feel comfortable enough like talking to us about it and being open. <laughs> Go, we wish you the best. If my kid came out to me, I would just honestly be happy that they feel comfortable telling me that. And I would feel that as a parent, I did a good job raising my kid because they feel comfortable to show their identity and be like who they are around me. How did you come out to your family or friends? I did not plan to come out and I actually skipped school and I was at a guy's house 
um, and his mother walked in. And we were very... Yes. <laughs> So it was only at the same day my parents knew. Because my sister is also related to the Hong family, so she just told me that she can't be because she has to pay for the Chinese generation's reason. Later, I told her that she was sick, so I was in the hospital for two or three weeks. After that, I called a friend to talk to a friend, to talk to a foreigner. Later, it slowly turned out. She may have chosen not to talk, but she accepted me, at least in my health and well-being. Can you leave a message to the LGBT community in front of the camera? Just stay strong and fight for your rights. If you get more rights, I wish you love and safety and peace and uh, I hope you all uh, find what you're looking for and uh, may the force be with you. Force will be with you, always. Just be who you are, be happy, yeah. don't care what people think. As yeah. long as do what you love, be you. And if people can't accept you, they can go screw themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Sexual orientation aside, I think that like as long as you are a good person and you're contributing to society and you know you're being genuine, like it just is not a significant thing about you. Don't feel bad about yourself. It's okay if you're that way. Don't worry. I would say just be yourself because all of our friends, they are very creative and cool people. Just I think the most important thing, your own freedom. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Keep yourself safe, but. Otherwise, really, there is value in just saying who you are.